Hello, hello, testing, testing, testing. Can I move around without being blurry too much? Anyone of you wants to sponsor me a better camera? So today we're gonna learn about adjectives. Adjective in Japanese is keioshi. And there are two types of keioshi. Ikeyoshi and not keioshi. Ikeyoshi are words that end with e. That's all you need to know. Ikeyoshi are words that end with e. So we got kawaii, utsukushi, ureshi, tadoshi, tsuyoi, yowai, nagai, mijikai, oki. So these are ikeyoshi. Nakeyoshi is literally everything else that does not end with e. So we have genki, steki, suki, jobu, daijobu, jōzu, heta, daihen. So that's how you differentiate between the two keioshis, e keioshi and na keioshi. But why group them? Because it's going to be a little bit different if you stick it with a noun. So you have keioshi plus noun. E keioshi is very simple. You just have to stick them together and skadiddle skadaddle. Your dick is now a noodle. Let's say the word kawaii. Kawaii is the keioshi, and then just give whatever noun. Uh, me example. I'm kawaii as fuck. Kawaii. Luna, Tanoshi Hibi, Tsuyoi Teki, Nagai Jika, Oki Yoppa. Next one, Nakeyoshi. Nakeyoshi is you just have to put na after the keyoshi and then plus with the noun. So for example, Genki, Genki, Genki na ko, Steki na Steki. That's right, you heard it right, Steki na Steki. Duarkat bani, duarkat, Suki na hito, Jozu na nihongo, Taihen na koto. So here's one thing you need to look out for. Words like kire, kyodai, yume. You might be thinking that these are e keoshi, because, well, you can see the e. But no! Because if you change them to kanji, kire, kyodai, yume. Oh! Suddenly the e is gone! Ho, 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 ho! What about e keoshi? Kawaii, ureshi, tsuyoi, oki. Oh, there's E. So what have we learned today, kids? Let me make a quick recap for you. As usual, E K O she ends with E. Duh. And if you put them together with a noun, you just have to stick them together. You don't have to put anything in between. Nakeyoshi is literally the rest that does not end with e. If you put them together with a noun, you have to put na in between. Also, be careful not to mistake these words because, uh, well, at first glance, yeah, you might see the e, but that's 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 just illusions, all right? The e is part of the kanji, so for this one, I literally have no other tip than to memorize the kanji. And that's it for today's lesson, everyone. It's easy. Ikeyoshi, nakeyoshi. Thank you for joining the class. Uh, although I'm just 